going to be a, a, a tall hill to climb for Space Station as we jump into game one. So, Sathew subbing in here for Arsenal. What are the things you think Space Station might lose or gain with the substitute? Well, with Arsenal originally, obviously, on the roster, you, you have that cohesiveness as a three-man duo, clearly, but you're also looking at his ability to be able to score quickly as they're going to try to work to get that ball out as quickly as possible. But uh, Arsenal, again, the, the shooting percentage of, of this entire Space Station roster is hovering around 23%, and a lot of that is contributed by Arsenal. So with him not being uh, starting today and Sathy filling in, it doesn't mean that Sathy won't be able to contribute in that same stat column, but you are looking at a different limited number of shots because they're usually taking eight or nine per game. I don't expect mm -hmm. it to be that high against United. We'll have to see United, not exactly a defensive powerhouse. Tristan yeah. and Ajax more on the offensive side, but certainly something that might come up. Reynolds with a save that didn't need to be that scary, but, you know, that's where we're at. So Space Station Gaming invading the blue side of the field. A nice setup for a mid lane trailer that never showed up. So a clear out here. And Dapper. Setting up no one. Reynolds off to the races. One defender here. Ajax gets bumped. But there's two more United members right in net waiting to deal. And these are the type of play styles that if you're Space Station, you're going to have to utilize. Today, Reynolds bounces it over. Only one defender in the box. And, and this was all set up by about 30 seconds prior. Sathew able to recover nicely on the play. And that's Sathew's job today. Just set up Reynolds and set up Sipical for open chances. And you need to utilize that physicality because you come in with about 3.8 close to four demos per game. If you're Space Station gaming, Arsenal was a heavy contributor to that. So just continue that same physicality. And for E United, you have to avoid the bumps to keep Keep you on the play defensively. We'll see if United are going to stick to that. <clears throat> or if they run into the wall that Space Station used to be. You know, I think uh, Space sure. Station's still here. Absolutely. But uh, a couple of question marks where there might not have been previously. So right now, two minutes down. One goal scored. It does belong to Space Station. Second one might have fallen there. Fell there, but Ajax gets in the way. Likely to see a blue team transition here coming down the road. Sathew tries to show up, but just kind of boomed out here. A little bit of a slower game than I anticipated. Is that a result of not having the, the starting Space Station roster here or something else? No, I think that it's more of just a result of, of Space Station understanding not only the situation that this game presents, what a flip by right. Tristan, and what a cleanup by Dapper, and that is how you counterattack appropriately. The the hesitation from Safi leaves way to an open lane, and Tristan takes advantage, but F dot to kind of get back to your question, no, I think it's just both teams, or more specifically Space Station, recognizing this is a bit of a trap game. If you don't take this series seriously, especially with what Dapper's been able to do, at least increasing the percentage of EU United's shots on on the field leading oh, to an open oh. net you have to take every advantage you can and not give away easy defensive mistakes that's got a fall there for sathew rough stuff for the substitute typical with a soft catch tries to pop it above two off the backboard sathew beaten by dapper and the ball is stuck in midfield reynolds goes again but tristan takes a step up no questions asked the one two punch is deflected by ajax one more time in the corner. Sipical forced to turn around on a bad angle. He gets demoed. Dapper coming here down the right wing. Shoved out one more time. And Blue going to keep control of it. Backboard set up for Tristan. The shot is good. Deflected off of Sathew, but it do not matter. E United find themselves up one goal. I'm loving the counterattacks from EU United. If you've noticed that Space Station have been spending a lot of time in the opposite end of the field, but they're not getting long clears to move out the defense from the goal line. And as soon as EU United grabs the ball, they punch that thing downfield quickly. They waste no time on the transition and they're getting quick shots towards the net, which makes such Space Station that much more uncomfortable. Typical with another shot, but denied by Tristan to the corner. We dump this ball out. Transition still ensues and possession goes back for EU United. This is just great counterattack offense from E United. They, I think they realize that despite the fact that Space Station Gaming are here with a substitute that SSG are still forced to be reckoned with. And if they sit here and they just continuously like slow the game down and, and, and popcorn offense, they're not gonna get great looks. They're not gonna have the opportunity to really play these set plays that we see the top teams go, even right. with Sathew on the field. I mean, he's no slouch. 
And so they know E United that is, then they have to look for these shot opportunities quickly in the manner that you're talking about. And it's been successful. Dapper taking Sipical off the field real quick. One goal lead, one more time for the red, white, and blue. And as time ticks down, Sipical stops this one from being a two goal game and keeps it within reach. Tristan left side, up high. And Dapper waiting, doesn't get the angle he wanted to catch it with. What a but challenge. then punched on the side and Ajax from downtown. Yep. That's the dagger. Half a game or half a minute rather for Space Station to catch up by two. Because you're SSG, you need to clean up this indecisiveness. That comes through whether you're clearing on defense or whether you're moving the ball downfield. They have looked absolutely sloppy when it comes to the communication, and it's just not working. United doing a great job of challenging that little off timing on each play and getting the ball upfield. This is how you beat Space Station at this moment, especially with the sub. SSG just needs to do better. Tristan with a cute carry here. Out of the corner. Won't land. And Reynolds pops us up. Thinking about game two here for Space Station Gaming. The guys have to readjust. Dapper and friends. We'll take game number one here for e United. And as we look towards Space Station to adjust, you know, what, what exactly do they have to adjust? We identified how e United were scoring by very quickly looking for their shot opportunities, very quickly getting down the field. Not always scoring in transition per se, Spaceman, mm -hmm. but not really the, the amount of time after possession is maintained to fall in goal is very right. small. So yeah. that's how E United are scoring. How does Space Station answer that back? Well, they're playing very one-dimensional Rocket League for both sides, and the United's winning that on the ground. We haven't seen the ball moved up to the side wall. We haven't really utilized the backboard, and by we, I'm speaking as Space Station Gaming. So, sure. number one, start using the air more. Bring the ball up towards the side wall. Move out the defense for United so they can't challenge you at midfield. They can't challenge you for possession on the point of attack. Start working on those infield passes, even if Safu has to be the back as a third man and just facilitate and take him out of the play on offensive. Do that because it's clear that E United is winning these reads that you're giving them on the ground. And more importantly, the decision-making needs to be more consistent. It's indecisive and it's not communication. You need to be able to call out saying, no, I got the ball, I'll bring it out of the net. We're not getting that from SSG and it's very easily read by E United. That stutter step you have with a substitute, independent of the substitute skill, Right. Yeah. When you talk about a team, you've got you've got two kind of metrics. Your 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 Madden score, if you will, just how good at the game you are individually. But mm -hmm. then your team has like a cohesion score. And you know, Seth, you could be a ninety-nine. Oh no! I really wanted that to land for Seth. <laughs> I, I really wanted quiet, that to like, land. Oh, that's gonna be a goal. I was look. I was. Oh, that was the moment where you let the game speak for itself. And you know what? The game did speak for itself. It said, "No, thank you, Seth. You." A no one else was there to follow here. up, though, F dot. That there's some, someone. Someone has to come up and just punch that ball away. That's an open opportunity. You're you're not wrong. That's the fundamentals. You know what I mean? You know what it is. Ninety nine times out of hundred, that ball falls, and you can you can celebrate. That one time out of hundred, that's it. <laughs> that's yeah. the one. Yeah, and right that's there. again where you need that. You need that. IGL in your comms to say, hey, like, you know, we're, we're right. going to move this play. I'm going to go for the ball. It seems like at this moment, and it's not to harp on it, but it is just to point out the important fact that SSG don't look like they have that IGL in the comms. So this might be nice it. Job. Typical, able to step up, reads the ball through the corner. That's the prettiest goal SSG scored so far, and it came at an opportune time. It came from individual play, too. You see that typical kind of sets himself up all the way from the backfield, tosses it against the wall, and finds the the directive in there and, and and that's the nice look for space station because i think it's very easy to be like you know cat and coach and sure. sit here and say teamwork's always better than individual prowess but i in this matchup disagree i think like i said you're, you're losing a couple of cohesion points as a nice carry by dapper is rejected by reynolds and so if your cohesion isn't there sathy's no slouch just say yeah play the game bro Yep. Just let the game come to you. Sipical can do that. Reynolds can do that. And you know what? Sath, you can do that too. So I'm sitting here and I'm not saying never pass the ball after a dangerous drop down in front of United's net. But I'm saying go there for plays is. like that. 
Sipical plays off the drop down and Space Station find themselves up two goals to none. Some great initiative by Reddles and that extra bump again. They come in with around eight shots a game and they have close to four in terms of demos per game. So the physicality is something that SSG used to do really, really well, and it was pretty unpredictable. Rettles able to open up the kickoff with another demo, but yeah, sometimes you're a victim of circumstance, F dot, and just take that initiative and say, we're going to create some individual plays, possibly open up the field. Now it comes down to the defensive hole. Down two goals for E United. How do they respond? Slow shot, follow up from Tristan, and a great block by Rettles. Three slow shots to be uh, exact. <laughs> Going through the motions almost. Yeah. I need to see a little bit more intent behind what United is doing here. Is we hit the half time. And Ajax, again, a little slow, a little low on boost there. Couldn't find the right angle. And so again, United find themselves on the defensive side of the court. Sipical with a turnaround setup for Sathew sends it careening into the left field. One nice setup here for Reddles. Dapper, perfectly positioned for a punchback. Typical slows it down. Two defenders here, and Tristan blocks it. And I don't know if Space Station can really make anything out of this angle. Scratch well, that. This, Reddles with a nice look, and there's Dapper. This has been a beautiful mid-series adjustment by SSG. They're, they're recognizing that E United likes the ground game, so they're using the ground game to move E United out yeah. of the net and into the corner, and then they sky the ball high where you have the individual talent to be able to go up and meet that challenge. Rettel's going to do the same thing through the corner. As two players will come off, Ajax responds. But again, they're keeping the ball up towards the backboard. They're moving E United out. And when the ball comes back down to the ground, they maintain possession because individually, they are better than what E United has presented. Finally, E United cleared out of the blue half. But that was a good minute or so from Space Station, even though it didn't lead to a goal. Midfield. Tristan stops the clear, doesn't have the angle, two defenders there. Dapper, turning around real quick, trying to get a better angle, but it's denied. 60 seconds, and E United scoreless in game number two. Complete control here from Space Station, and you know, it hasn't really come from uh, a real dictation, so to speak. Just two real pretty looking goals on the other side. And sometimes it's it's disjointed like that. You know, this game is kind of a non sequitur. It just, oh, stings sometimes. As that ball goes wide, any United stay with the goose egg. I mean, it could just be boiled down to the simplicity of Space Station of doing a great job of just putting pressure into United's half. Every time it seems the ball starts to move out to midfield, possession gets pulled away, and E United have to fall back and play turtle up defense. Sathew keeping it alive in the cross to Rettles. I mean, that's kind of how this entire game's been. It's long, prolonged periods of offense from Space Station. You get a counter attack from E United, and then the possession goes right back to the blue half. Defenders are split out on the line. You get a quick pass downfield. It's very, very easy right now for SSG. And for E United, this has been an uphill battle since the opening kickoff. They just have not been able to figure out how to move out on defense. You know, it's this is one that Space Station, or excuse me, this is one that E United don't necessarily have to feel really terrible about. I mean, you got beat, you know, typical another one, sure. You can have seconds, man. Absolutely no problem. But you know, if, if I'm sitting back and I'm and I'm like Coach Subin, I'm sitting here and I'm saying, all right, so they beat you individually. Like we are the stronger team, three players here, and that's what we've got to focus on. So I think you know, look for passing plays, sure, because yeah. obviously the offense is what's been neutered here uh, on the United side as they fall 4-0 in game number two. The necessary adjustments, I think, need to come from a, a little bit more team play on the United side, but you got to pay attention to these individuals. Seven shots on goal from Sipical, and three of them land. Yep, and that's going to be the story for SSG, especially with the sub and staff here. You're just going to have to individually power your way through whatever opponent you face for the moment. United, uh, opposite story. You need to kind of work on that team game. And again, maybe that comes through Dapper stepping up and saying, hey, let's start working the ball down a little bit more and let's see if we can get or at least match that physicality that uh, the SSG is showing us. But quick little sure. update. FaZe Clan lose to Sonics 3-1. Sonics move on and they'll move on to the quarterfinals. But uh, FaZe Clan now getting knocked down.
down to the uh, knockout gauntlet. So they will play, I believe, Exit. Exit with some spicy plays there uh, earlier in the day. Mm. Alpha Cat really stepping up lately. They're looking hot. If you're face, you'd be worried about that. Tied at one apiece here. Jumping into game three. E United versus the black and yellow of Space Station Gaming. And SSG with a real dominant game number two. E United won, and they looked like the better team in game number one. But in game number two, I mean, E United put up, uh, Space Station Gaming put up four goals. Yeah. All of them kind of individual pretty stuff and did not allow a single shot to land for E United. Yeah. And so that's the more impressive game here in these two games. Ajax with a nice look, slowly but surely. And Tristan brings it home. One goal at the 422 mark. As SSG won by pressure time, that's what you're going to need to do for E United. Continue to keep the ball alive on the opposite end of the field. Win the battle in the lower third. And as the offense moves up, be ready to rotate out for a long clear. But always make sure you can rebound successfully on the play. Tristan does so. And take advantage of those small little opportunities you're given because it won't be given often. A great response by E United in the start of this game. Nice shot there from Tristan. Dap, we're going to continue it. Both players, however, falling back there for the boost pickup, so no opportunity. New Jack's going to follow up. And a nice little bop there. And so it'll keep it a one goal game. Nice little offensive set from e United, but unable to really convert. And now Space Station on the other side. Sipical going to keep this one. Looking good for Space Station. But they can't seem to find real possession, right? Like, location-wise, Space Station are on the good side of the field space, but they're not finding really <laughs> much to do with it. That's just a mirror match of game, too. I mean, once you clear the ball downfield, if you don't have a solid hold on the possession, you're looking to win the transition. If you can't do that, then you just fall back to midfield and hope you can recover quickly. But, you know, again, the, the individual play right now for E United is keeping this ball alive thanks to Tristan, and he grabs the corner boost, so resources are depleted and limited for SSG on how they recover on defense. And this is, again, just a good way to, to slow the offensive power that SSG can bring. Keep them suffocated in their own half so they can't move down the field quickly and pick you apart. Well, that's kind of what's been happening mm -hmm. here. It's literally Yo. just game two, but flipped upside down. Right, just picking them apart. Eating the bones. Reddles here. Got to set himself up. Ajax flicks it on out. And a real slovenly game. Slow, not necessarily sloppy, but nothing really put together like we saw earlier on. Oh, nice angle. Typical ties it up. That's just a great shot from Sipigo. And again, from the elbow, he's almost lethal. Like, this is a gimme goal. And just the read <laughs> perfectly. Like, you have to be able to challenge him on the point of the contention. And if you don't, he's going to put that towards the top bar, and you're almost guaranteed a bar down situation. So, a uh, great job from Sipigo to be able to move down the field and just, again, kind of reading that ball before it gets towards the net, being able to jump the, the corner and get such a touch. Another one followed up, but they won't get it. And Ajax with a very, very big clear down the field to give United some breathing room. If that landed, I was going to talk about the Rocket League gods because we've <laughs> seen a lot of bar down and outs tonight. Sure. So the the unpopular result there out of our small sample size of today but tied at one apiece and we're trying to find a way to break this United started off the game hot but then kind of gave typical an easy uh -oh. angle and then kind of gave typical an easy angle yeah, you just can't do this. You can't have all three up and no one hits the ball. If you're going to commit as an offense to the over-aggressiveness, you better make sure you have a touch there to be able to stall it in midfield. No one gets anywhere close. And typical again, reading the challenge appropriately and splitting the defenders in the air. Uh, it's just, that is just practice and veteran experience that SSG will always have over E United. I like the way Sathu plays this kickoff, but ultimately it winds up in the hands of E United. Two nice shots. And both of them dealt with appropriately. My Space Station Gaming. The, pay, the Space Station is still up by one goal. 
That's sad, about 80 seconds for the United squad to really play around with. More than enough time, as this team has proven, to really make this one a tie game. So yeah. in these moments, I find myself looking to Tristan and then finding out that Ajax is the guy. How about you? Well, these are, I think, the more dangerous moments for United. Sathew uncontested. Again, someone has to be able to meet him at the backboard. But these are the dangerous moments for United because every goal up until this point has been a quick challenge on the jump. You read the play. You get in before the timing of the offense can rotate in. Boom. You score from, like, half field. That's how United won game one. That's how SSG has responded in this game. But you also have to make sure that you actually challenge the ball, something that United has been struggling to do. And when you're constantly pushing as an offense, as long as SSG recognizes what's coming next, what you're showing them on the rotation, they can jump that timing and disrupt your flow. They've done that, and then it makes, you know, transition goals like that where you can move downfield uncontested so much easier. Gotta be a goal. Oh, blocked by Sipical. And that's the, 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 the game-saving save, the reverse dagger. Give me a give me a term here because that save keeps it space stations. If that shot lands for E United, we have a ball game, folks. But instead, the clock will tick down from five. And the tie will be broken. Space Station gaming. As the ball hits the ground here, will take game number three. And will be one away from knocking out E United. And this was a big game for, for SSG because they showed you a little bit of everything that they were able to do on offense, right? You're you're, you're able to pre-read a lot of the, the rotations from E-United. You're able to jump the timing and disrupt the normal cadence that E-United moves down the field with. So you jump in on the play, you hit the point of the attack, you, you move the ball out on a challenge, and you get a couple of long clears that eventually lead to goals. And also, when the play starts to slow down, you show that you can weather the storm on defense, move downfield, get a couple of cheeky possessions, and keep that pressure up to where someone like Sipical can move to the elbows and find a nice shot. So uh, SSG showing you all the different ways they can score on offense. And it's a big game to show that Sathu could fit into this roster on a last minute notice. But for E United, series is not over by any stretch. Now it comes down to can you consistently challenge SSG when they're telling you they're gonna challenge you when you move down the field and take the ball away. Here's my big question before uh, we play our game. Sure. So technically, in the in the RLCS rulebook, Tristan with a beautiful angle, blocked by Sipical. Arsenal, if all things work out, could come back in this set. Sathu has been serviceable and scored a goal in the last game. If E United win and Arsenal's ready for game five, do you bring him in? I think the answer should... Uh, most people, and I, I think I would lean towards, yes, you just bring Arsenal in because it's about limiting the variables at play because you understand what you will get, not that you don't understand what Sathu is capable of doing. But I'm actually going to go against my normal answer and instincts to say, no, you leave Sathu in because you've already played four games with him. Yeah. The, the, each game, and I understand what Arsenal brings. There's no question. We don't need to have that debate. What a bomb. bump! But... But the fact that you've already played four games, why mess with things that clearly are not at this point broken? Just leave the nature of the game by itself. I feel you. Rocket League's a rhythm game, man. Yep. It's like DDR. You got to just stay in the groove. Sathy's not Sathy's costing, so don't take him out. Yeah, exactly. If he if he's sluggish, sure. And if it's game two, yeah, I think you make the change. Game three, I think you make the change. But if we go all the way five and game four, I would stick it as well. So yep. Sathy, going to oh, keep boy. on keeping on. And there's a case for him. Sathew off of a bad bump from Tristan off the wall and finds the goal. Space Station Gaming with the lead. Those are one of those goals when you score, you kind of look back and you're like, wait, I got that? Because you don't expect the defender to roll over the ball. Usually it's underneath and that ball just jets to the ceiling. Uh, another another big whiff by E United on one of the defensive commits that, again, just getting a body in front of that in front of the ball would would save you a goal in this series. It seems like that's kind of been a theme so far. Ajax taking it off the side wall, flipping his way under, and Dapper goes for the dunk. But maybe a situation where you leave a or you leave Ajax in a position to, to individually take that ball up, and then you have someone else ready and waiting. Game five has been so much faster than the earlier games in this series, and it's 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 been a fun adjustment. The problem is. E United look a little bit sluggish. I say that as Ajax takes this one in transition, but 
Reynolds meets him midfield. Tristan sends it back. And Sathew does the same. A good setup oh, wow. for someone. Sipical drops it. Sipical drops it. That's a goal Can't if he hits that. The goal. Oh, rough. Yeah, that's that's literally a free <laughs> that's that's free real estate if he hits that. It's 2-0. But he united on the brink of being able to possibly send this to Champions Field. Again, it just obviously comes down to the score. Can they find the goal? But to SSG's credit, even on defense where, where things sometimes look a little bit chaotic, I mean, how mm -hmm. many how many minutes have we spent now in the blue half waiting for United to clear it out just for them to quickly give away possession on the opposite end? That's a fair question. Probably more than I can count. That said, United have a good setup there. Angle goes awry. Reynolds with a carry. Space Station Gaming still on offense. Sibigal brings it in front of the net. Sathy, you can't come from the left side, comes from the right side. Because of that, doesn't have the shot. Reynolds, again, setting up a mid lane player. But Sibigal's back getting boost. So Space Station Gaming are really just trying to keep possession of the ball to prevent United from looking for offensive shots on their end. They're not necessarily looking for the highest percentage shot space. Right. I think they're just looking to keep it trapped on this side of the field. They're winning the second touch and third touch on each play, which again, it just breaks down the defense and the defense is no longer thinking about, okay, let's get the clear and transition. It's thinking about, mm -hmm. we just need to hold for a stop. And when you're constantly holding for a stop, the offense doesn't evolve over the game and you lose time on the clock. So yeah, this has just been about SSG saying, we're already up a goal. Best case scenario, we score when we're in the blue half. If not, keep the ball alive and make United's time hell on the field. There's a great transition and a goal for Tristan. And finally, United breakaway of this strength hold led by Tristan and Ajax on the duo man this one falls but ever so slightly and this is the th this is a good look because a lot of those shots that's the same shot that e United have been taking all game yep okay we've seen five shots on goal and four of them looked like that and they all went awry couldn't find the angle distressed by the defense or just straight up whiffing it that one landing could be the, the catalyst for United to go, okay, our play style, what we were looking for is working. Keep these pass lanes clear and let's just keep on doing what we're doing. If United do that, my two cents, they find themselves in a game five. No, absolutely. And SSG have been clogging the lanes, which made United's job a little bit more difficult. Typical, trying to bully his way into the net, but the ball still kept up and that's the thing. Typical has no boost. He's able to grab the corner. So reinforcements and resources are certainly there for SSG, but keeping this ball alive is just a problem. There goes the bump. Dapper escapes it barely. High shot, big down. Sathew 2-1 might have just ended the series for SSG. The substitute savior. Sathew coming through and with 16 seconds left on the clock, this could be enough to keep us out of overtime. E United in the kitchen now. Do they cook or do they burn? Let's see. Tristan, turn it on the flames. And the ball stopped up by Reynolds. One more opportunity here for Blue. They send it into the corner. Ajax answers back. Tristan here, try to keep it up. And all right, one more shot, boys. You got to keep it up. Oh, Just, somebody that caught the ball. Oh, that's, a, that's, a, that's, an, that's a center field pop fly. You need to call that Ooh. ball and say, I got it. Oh, that's a horrible way to go out. But SSG, tip of the cap to them. Again, they, they kind of survived the end of that game. And it, should this go to five, what would we expect? Who knows? But the, the pressure and the possession time was there for the entire series for SSG. And